here it is. It's called the EP9. And it's pretty clear that this is no Nissan Leaf. Because a Leaf doesn't have giant head restraints to stop G-forces from snapping your neck during hard cornering. And that's just the start of it. What I have here is a comparison between this Neo EP9 and the Rimac Concept 1, in which I had my little um, tumble down a Swiss mountain side. So, in the Rimac Concept 1, power 1,207 brake horsepower. In this Neo, 1,341 brake horsepower. Power to weight in the Rimac is 652 brake horsepower per tonne. In this Neo, 773 brake horsepower per tonne. Oh, good. So, no pressure then. Right, the high voltage system is active. So here goes. To launch, it's got to be in drive. Left foot on brake, right foot mash the throttle, right hand hold that back for one, two, three, four, five. Come off the brake. Ah! Sweet Mary, mother of Jesus! It's just insanity! They say it'll do naught to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Up to 125 in seven seconds. Seven seconds! That direct, immediate power you get from these electric supercars is like nothing else. It's like one minute I'm here and then bam! I'm over there. It's like driving a jet engine. Something else about which I have bad memories. This is a bad place. However, there is some good news for people like me. The brakes! Whoa! That's put everything back where it should be. My eyes have come forward, my lungs are on the front again. Oh! Now, if you want to experience this phenomenal speed for yourself, you will need two things. First of all, a lot of money, because this costs 1.15 million pounds. Secondly, a racetrack, because it works like that Ferrari FXX, where you buy the car, they deliver it to a track for you, along with a support team. You drive it, crap yourself, then they take it away and hose it out for you. Since it's an electric car, you'll be wondering about range. Obviously, if you hammer it round a track, you are going to wear those batteries out pretty quickly. However, on the plus side, they only take 45 minutes to charge. On the minus side, you have to take the batteries out to do it. And as they weigh 317 kilograms each, you won't be doing that on your own. It is a bit more of a faff than, say, a can of petrol. However, if you're an electric petrol head and you're tempted by the Neo, you might be interested to know that it's not short of pedigree. There's evidence that the people behind this thing really know what they're doing. For starters, the outfit that makes the EP9 also runs a Formula E team, one which won the inaugural championship in 2015. And until recently, the EP9 itself held a lap record around the Nürburgring, with an astonishing time of 6 minutes, 45.9 seconds. Which means it isn't just about going fast in a straight line. It has active suspension, active aerodynamics, torque vectoring, and all of that means only one thing. Grip, grippity grip! It has a motor at each 
of the four wheels for a four-wheel drive system that can be monitored and controlled constantly by the car's onboard brain. Add to that the active aerodynamics on that vast wing and a diffuser running the length of the car. It produces more downforce than an F1 car. Jesus! It's like driving an octopus! There's no doubt that as a piece of engineering, the Neo is deeply impressive. And then, slingshot! <laughs> but what I love about it most is that, thanks to its phenomenal grip, I could hammer it round our track all day and still be the right way up. And from me, there is no higher compliment.